Hello, I'm Trey and welcome to another of my uh, craft tutorials and I call this one a craft tutorial because I'm going to do a simple, easy, quick uh, card making tutorial. Um, I've been doing card making for quite a long time and I tend to use um, my cut and die uh, which, and I have a big shot. I've had it for many, many years and I don't have lots of uh, actual dies for it because it's expensive so what I tend to do is try and use uh, the dies I've had for quite a long time in a different way so I'm going to do a Christmas card and uh, I've started off with a blank white card 5 by 7 and I've stuck on a piece of backing paper Christmas backing paper it's green with Merry Christmas on it quite a simple piece of backing paper and that's my base. Now I'm not going to be cutting out all the pieces that I'm using on this card um, on camera. It would take too long and my uh, room isn't quite set up for doing that with the uh, cut and die. The table would shake around too much. But I've got, um, I'm using some cut and dies that I've had for years. I can't remember um, exactly the brands. I think I don't think I can anyway, not for all of them. Now I'm going to be using a, a snowman die. I think this is a sweet Dixie. I've had it a couple of years. Um, I'm going to be using a holly, well, ivy kind of die. And um, I've got a, a long section and a short section in the same set. And I think this is a Marianne die I, I've had for years. And what I did is cut out the the longest one in green and I cut out the smallest one a couple of times in red and then I cut out two layers this is from um, a layer and die uh, set I think it might be X cut I'm not sure and just a couple of layers to be able to layer up on the card and then I use one of my embossing folders just to put a nice holly pattern in the blank card and that's what I one of the things I love about uh, coat and dies and using me embossing folders is you can take a piece of normal blank card colour card and make it look quite pretty the other thing I've done is made my own tags I have a, a set of I think they were by X cut of cut and dies that are for tags different shapes and sizes and I still use um, peel off stickers for my uh, scenes and sentiments I have done for years I find them really easy I probably will do as long as I sell them <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is stick down on top of here my layers but what I try what I try to do is because I'm going to be putting a few things down I want to lay look at the layout before I stick anything down so I want to be putting those two on top of each other like that so we'll see if that position in there is any good. And then I want to put my snowman on top of there. It's going to be looking quite funky this because it's bright colours. Now I want to put the holly die shape over the top of there. Let me to the side possibly. There we go. I think that looks quite nice. I'll move it across slightly. And this is like a double layer. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of layering so it looks more interesting yeah I think that looked good and at the bottom at a little angle there's going to be a sentiment so I'm working out where it is things are going to go on the card before I stick anything down that saved me a lot of trouble so many times <laughs> because I've quite often made a mess of a card because I didn't work it out and I couldn't fit on what I wanted. So the first one is this uh, bigger layer in green that I've cut out. I tend to use uh, tacky glue, Anita's, I've used it for years, but there's plenty of other tacky glues around. The only thing is I find, especially in cool weather, you can't get it out very, <laughs> very well. It's really tacky and hard to get out the bottle. So if you've got dexterity problems, not really these uh, bottles. That's the first layer. And I approximately remember where it was, so I put it there. 
and I put my second layer on. Again, I'm going to use my tacky glue because the other things I'm going to be putting on with uh, foam pads to give it a bit of layering, a little bit of dimension. There you go. Just line that up. Now, I like to put some kind of weight on top of what I've just glued. And that's because if I don't, it just lifts. I mean, uh, I've seen people on, you know, the um, the channels where they do demonstrations and they just stick it down and everything's fine. That, that never works for me. Never. So I always stick it down, put something on top of it and leave it and do something else until I can come back to it and it's giving it time to stick. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to put some foam pads on the back of my other sections. Look, look, the other elements I'm going to be putting on my card. Make sure they're all upside down because I do have a very slight pattern on one side. Because I've done that before as well. Glue, put the sticky pads on the wrong side. Uh, foam pad site tend to get some on online, these little ones. But I also much prefer actually the ones you cut down. Then I can pick the size I want. You can't always get the right size. Here's one of the big ones on here. And this, because it's smaller sections, I'm going to cut down. Kind of stop that glare there a little bit. I'm going to cut down small pieces of foam pad to go on to the holly or ivy, whatever it is. Ivy leaves. And that way I can cut it down a bit smaller and it doesn't show up on the other side when you stick it down. Always a little bit awkward these foam pads so I tend to use tweezers. You always make this look so easy on television, don't they? But actually, it's quite fiddly. <laughs> it was, they do it really quickly, and it's, oh yeah, dead easy. It's not really. It's fiddly. Oh, I'll give up. Especially when you've got little bits like this. Right, now do me a bigger bit. I'll have to cut some more down. Even though these little bits are awkward, I do find it better to be able to cut down rather than have bits that are too big. It kind of annoys me when I can see foam pads on the other side. Just my choice really, but... Now you could have done um, used silicon glue and I've done that quite often as well when there's really small pieces. But I, I tend to find I prefer foam pads. I find they're stickier. Right, so I've got all my foam pads on the back of the sections I want. I'll get rid of my scrappy bits. I do have a bin over here. It's not all going on floor. <laughs> um, right, so I've had... This sitting with a, a light book on top of it and then it's nicely stuck down. 
And now I'm going to place my parts on here. So there's my snowman. I'll put that on first. Nice thing about using uh, cut and dies, I find, is you can do different um, combinations of whatever it is you've got in your set, um, and then make different dies different cards look slightly different depending on what combination you use together and it's cheap I mean you you just buy some cheap card now I mean obviously it's cheap to buy the cheap card and use it in your cutting dies the dies themselves aren't cheap but they do last a long time I mean I've had some of my uh, cutting dies for probably as long as I've had my machine um, as long as you look after them you know the the fine so i you know even though it was a, it was a substantial buy at the time i still think it was a good buy for me for doing my card making so i'm going to put the ivy over here there we go Put that down and now I'm going to put a couple of extra bits on for a little bit of layering just to make it look slightly more fuller and interesting. And throughout this card I've mostly only used two colours and that's green and red which is nice as well. You don't have to get too complicated with colours. So I'll put that one there so you can see the other leaves underneath and that one there there we go so it looks quite interesting you've got different leaves going in different directions and now I'm going to put my sentiment on on my tag there we go get rid of my scrap keep tidy right now I'm going to try and jazz it up a little bit more now if you've got uh, gel pens you could use those I'm going to use a stickles uh, glue for one of the things I'm going to do and the other thing I'm going to use is some gem red gems and I'm going to cover where those holes are for the buttons and I'll see which one yeah that size will do just gives it a little bit of a interesting lift let's see if I can pick them up with me come on there we go another thing that uh, are useful is tiny little bits like this Because my fingers aren't quite nimble enough. The tweezers are good for picking up tiny gems. So that makes that a little bit more interesting and I'm also going to put a couple of gems on the ivy. I think I'll go for the slightly bigger ones. Yes I will. And again I'm sticking with my colours so it looks complementary and works in well together. There's a couple more gems on there. There you go. And now I'm going to use my stickles glue. And this one's green with a touch of red and gold. I think it was a Christmas one again. I've had this year's. I'm not sure if you can still get it now, but I have had it for donkey's years. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the snowman's hat.
just adds a little bit of interest. So when the light catches it. And also I'm going to uh, put a little bit, just dot it around on the ivy. And there you go, a simple little card, and fair enough I didn't do all the cutting out on camera but you know if you're using a cutting die you, you'll know how to cut out. If you've got something similar to what I've used, any kind of shape of layer and you know a similar kind of snowman or maybe you've got one with a couple of snowman together, I um, ivy you'll probably have a, something in there if you have Christmas dies that looks like you know has a ivy shape and there you go, a little bit of glitter, a little bit of gems, a couple of colours and an embossing pattern and there's a, a simple little card. It didn't take too long. I mean most of the time he's taking is cutting out the bits. So um, that's my first card making uh, tutorial. Uh, I will look to do some more in the future. So I'll say bye for now and see you in the near future with a new, another tutorial.